It's week 77 of Zer, so we're going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, and give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 77 of Zer, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of April 2019, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So... Zer is located on Nessus, and he is by the Watcher's Grave in a little tree. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? Check out my moves, man. Check out my moves. So like always, we're going to start with the left hand side, we have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Colony, which is an exotic grenade launcher. Then we have the Knucklehead Radar for the Hunter, the Peacekeepers for the Titan, as well as the Klaza Ahamkara for the Warlock. We are going to go ahead and start with the Colony. Tragic perk on this is an Insectoid Robot Grenades, which fires Insectoid Robot Grenades that chase targets and explode in close proximity. Then we have Linear Compensator, uh, High Velocity Rounds, Serve the Colony, which Insectoid Robot Grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the Colony is unequipped. Then we also have Composite Stock, and this actually has two different ornaments. We have Sneak Attack, as well as Vice Silver. Now these ornaments don't come with the weapon, but they still look pretty cool. Now, real quick, if you do not have this, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely a tier 2 in PvP, but probably more like a tier 2.5 in meh, in PvE. Uh, if you guys don't know what the tier scale is, I will put it in the description box below. Next, we're going to go over the Nickelhead Radar for the Hunter. And try to perk on this is upgraded sensor pack, which provides radar while you're aiming, enhanced radar while crouching. Then we have Fusion Rifle Targeting. Hand cannon targeting, hands on, sniper rifle reserves, as well as machine gun reserves. And one of the ornaments for it is the predestination, and that's what it looks like. So, future war cult uh, ornament. So, if you are one of those guys who heavily depend on looking on your radar, go ahead and grab this. But if you're not, then it's not even worth it for you. So, have guys who heavily. Uh, depend on looking at their radar in PvP, probably a tier 2 to even probably even a 1.5. I can make an argument for that. As well as if you guys one of those who do not depend on radar and actually just go out and actually get your kills because of skill, then yeah, definitely a tier 5 for you because you don't need this. There are better exotics out there for you. As for PvE, really don't need to look at your radar in PvE because you can actually see the ads and ads don't get that crazy. So probably a tier 4, maybe even a 4.5 in PvE. Next exotic is the Peacekeepers for the Titan. The trend to perk on this is Mecha Holster, which a number of benefits while wielding an SMG. Reloading, readying, movement, and handling. Then we have Fusion Rifle Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, Outreach, uh, Scout Rifle Scavenger, as well as Special Ammo Finder. Now, if you are a Titan and you do not use SMGs, this exotic is probably worthless to you. Just like those people who you, who, I'm sorry, who do not need a radar and obviously knucklehead radar. It's just useless. So if you don't use an SMG, don't even worry about it. Probably a tier 4 to 4.5 for you. But if you do use an SMG, then these are pretty good uh, exotic for you to use. I probably would rate it maybe a 2.5 to even a tier 3 in PvP. PvE, nah, it's a PvE weapon. So I'm probably going to give it maybe a, a tier 3 in PvE. Next, we have the Klaza Ahamkara for the Warlock. And in charge of perk on this is the Whispers, which gain an additional melee charge. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction. Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger. And this does not have an ornament. However, in PvP, this thing is awesome. An extra melee charge is great. So this definitely get a 
tier 2 in PvP. I'm actually tier 2 in PvE and PvP. And in PvP, an argument can be made for a 1.5. And I definitely would like to hear you guys' thoughts on it in the comments below. Then we have your consumables, which is your five of swords. If you don't have this, uh, go ahead and grab one. It's for your nightfall strikes. As well as the wonderful faded engram that still and probably will never give you forsaken engrams. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.